Hey you guys, it's Sydney. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you guys clicked on this video. Yes, this is a different setup. I'm at Matt and my boyfriend's apartment. This morning has been crazy. There is a tropical storm coming through Georgia and my house has no power in it. So I came over here to record so that I could have lighting that wasn't such trash. And today I'm going to be recording. Seems random. I know it seems random, but I'm doing a concealer review. I'm doing a battle of concealers review. So today I'm going to be comparing the Tarte Shape Tape to the Hourglass Concealer. I know it seems like maybe random, but these are my two favorite concealers. And I don't know if you're interested, but I'm interested in seeing which one really is the best. I wanna compare them coverage wise, how they last, do they crease, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada. And the sad thing is I'm not gonna be wearing my under eye color corrector, <laughs> which you guys know is my favorite, but I'm not gonna wear it just so you guys can see how it really works without any added um, help. So I'm gonna wear this for a full day today, eight hours and show you guys how both of these wear. They're pretty comparable and Price. I'll put the two prices of these two concealers up. The Hourglass has six milliliters and the Tarte Shape Tape has 10 milliliters. So a little bit more for what you get. Here's what I look like before. I have under eye circles. So that's why I feel like, you know, I'm a good candidate to test this out for you. So I'm going to first put on the Stila concealer. I'm gonna put it on this side. I'm gonna put the same amount on both sides. I don't put a crazy amount. So just like that much. Then I'm going to put the Tarte. Also, this has a lot bigger of a doe foot, doe foot, doe foot applicator than the Stila. And just for comparison's sake, this is the doe foot of the Stila, or the, I keep saying Stila, the Hourglass. And I blend it in with my finger because I'm a weirdo. I don't know what to say, so that's what we're gonna do. So that's, this that side and I'm wiping off my finger and we're gonna do this side. Right off the bat, this is a newer package of Tarte Shave Tape. So maybe, I think I got more product of the Tarte on this side. This is definitely taken more to blend out. Maybe because it's more product, maybe because it's more high coverage right off the bat. You don't need to put as much product, but I had to wipe off my finger a few times here. And this dries a lot faster too, the Tarte, in my opinion. You have to blend it out quicker. So here are my eyeballs immediately after blending. This is the Hourglass and this is the Tarte. I feel like they're pretty comparable, but I'm gonna set it now. So I'm gonna set it with the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. So first I'm gonna get rid of any creases I got going on because I crease so easily, people. I try to avoid creasing more. Okay, and then I'm gonna get the creases out of this eye. And I feel like I had less creases to get out of this eye, the Tarte eye, than the other one. So maybe it creases less. I'm gonna set this eye. So these are my eyes immediately after setting them. Hourglass and Tarte. I feel like there's not a big difference. Also, I should say the Tarte is in shade Fairlight Neutral and the Hourglass is in shade Cream. I'm gonna go ahead, finish the rest of my makeup and then show you guys what it looks like at the end of that. So here's my completed makeup. I will show you guys my under eyes up close. Once again, this is the Tarte side and then this is the Hourglass side. I feel like the only difference as of now is this one almost looks a little bit higher coverage to me. I don't know why, but I'm gonna continue checking in with you guys today. It is planning season for my company right now. We're at the end of our fiscal year. So I literally have an eight hour planning session today, virtually. So I'll check in when we have some breaks from that eight hour planning and show you guys how this is wearing. So this is what I'm looking like four hours after doing my makeup. This is a natural light. This is the hourglass side, and this is the tart side. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if I had to, I mean, they look almost identical to me. If I had to come up with the difference, I feel like the hourglass side, so this side, looks a little bit less dry than the tart shape tape side. But that's me, you know, really searching for something. I think they almost look the same. There's no creasing. That's my four hour update. 
So here I am, eight hours of wear. The Hourglass concealer is on my nose ring side and the Tarte is on the other side. I would say it looks mostly the same on both sides. The Tarte side does have a teeny bit more coverage, I would say, and ignore my pre-Botox forehead. So concluding this video, one, why do I look like a crazy person? Because I just got Botox. And if you're interested in seeing that, I will be putting a video on about it. So subscribe below if you want to see that. And then now just to wrap it up, I do feel like there's barely any difference. So almost, I just want to tell you if you're between the two, just get whichever one is cheaper for the amount that you get and has the better color selection that you want. One thing I did notice, the Hourglass has very slightly, it's very slightly less drying than the Tarte Shape Tape. So just very slightly. <laughs> Also keep in mind, I did set both of these just because my eyes will crease like no other if I don't. So I can't tell you how they perform without setting, but with setting them with my Charlotte Tilbury powder, they do look almost identical. The Hourglass is just slightly less dry. And honestly, I like it better because I like the color I got a lot more. And like I said, it's a teeny bit less dry, but I can't say it's a huge difference between them. So. That's my review of them. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked what you saw, please make sure to like and subscribe and come back next week. I upload videos every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye, haters. Peace. I've gotten my forehead and my eyeballs done and whatever this is done. And now I'm getting my lips and you numb it first because apparently it hurts even though I thought the rest of it hurt. So here we go.